Hey guys, it is Pam with 44 Marketplace, and here we are at day number four of five in our Back to Basics series. Uh, we are, while I'm waiting for everybody to jump on, we're going to catch everybody up to where we are. We used white lightning and we cleaned our piece. Hey, Betty! We put our paint on. We started with a base coat of drop cloth and sandbar. Then we dry brushed on some driftwood, a custom mix of half savanna mist and half vintage duck egg. Hey Dar, hey Tanya, and hey Ellen. And then after we did our driftwood, our custom mix of savanna mist and vintage duck egg, half and half, and our brand new color of farmhouse green. So while I'm waiting for everybody to catch up, I am going to answer some questions that I got via private message. Hey, Patricia. Um, yes, my accent is real. I grew up in Alabama, and nobody would talk like this if it, on purpose, you know? If it wasn't natural, they wouldn't make this up. Uh, the other thing is, yes, I really do have four Mastiffs, and yes, I do work a lot to pay for dog food. <laughs> um, also... There are going to be several Dixie Bell retailers on here tonight watching. So if you're in an area and you don't know who your Dixie Bell retailer is, please put what area you're from so that if they're on here, they can let you know that they're here, um, where they're located. Because like I've told you guys before, um, if you don't have a local Dixie Bell retailer, I would love to be it. But I don't want to take away from anybody's Dixie Bell retailer. Another thing that I got asked about is the how-to booklet and the color chart. I do not charge for these. I just send them out to you. But if you have a local retailer, odds are they have them. Um, so if you are looking for a, if you're looking for these, I don't mind sending them to you. But if you've got a local retailer, odds are they have them and they will happily give them to you. There you go. There's some premier retailers. There's a retailer in North Carolina. There's a retailer in Cochrane, Georgia. So guys, if you're looking for a local retailer, put it out there. They'll find you and you can look for them. If you don't have a local retailer or if your local retailer doesn't meet your needs, I'm here and I appreciate any purchases. Oh, there's Art Shattered. Hey, Art Shattered. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> okay. So, hey, Billy. Okay, um, if anybody's having problems, let me know. I'll have probably have to put my glasses on right now. I can see you. Um, we're looking for a retailer near Jupiter, Florida and Southeast Wisconsin. So if there's one out there, y'all comment because we're looking for one. Okay, so we put our base coat on here. We have distressed it. Hey, Leah. Um, hey, Debbie. We have got this already, and I'm going to tell you, I worked on the top, but I'm not going to show you what it looks like, because tonight we were supposed to do waxing and glazing, and I'll tell you when I started messing with the top today, because I was at the store, I'm at my store all day on Thursdays, if you guys want to come by and talk paint, um, my vision for this piece changed a little bit. Hey, Gary. Hey, Margie. I decided that I want it distressed, but I do want a little bit more glitz and glamour to it. So tonight, it's going to be all about some cool waxing and some overwaxing and some gilding wax. So I am going to take you from a basic skill into a fantastic finish. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Here's our beautiful piece that we picked up. There you go. There is a premier retailer in Virginia, Bowling Green, Virginia, and Molly's Creations in Orfordville, Wisconsin. All right. So you guys connect if you can. All right. So we've got this here. And when I'm doing a big piece that I am waxing, I use these big, big, big brushes. Okay? Okay. Um, and when I'm doing a smaller thing, I use chip brushes. Whatever you guys want to do, do it. Um, but tonight we're going to kind of do this a little bit differently than I had planned. Okay, 
So we've got this beautiful raised panels, which I haven't ruled out putting some patina on. I just don't know that we're going to have time tonight. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to start here. Hey, Laura. Hey, Lori. All right, so we're going to start here with our grunge gray wax. Okay, and guys, I'm on Android, so there's no way to flip it around so it's not backwards. I've gotten that message several times. Okay, so here we go. We are going to wax this up and you guys may wax differently than I do but I want a good coat of wax on this so that you can see what I'm trying to do. I'm covering it completely with my wax. Okay? And you guys are going to think I'm crazy but this is the vision that I have developed for this piece. Oh and the other thing that came up um, yes this piece is going to be a display piece but I've had two people ask me if it's going to be for sale. Yes. When I get finished if you guys are interested in buying it, because I've used it in a live, it'll be $175. So, if you're interested, hit me up on Facebook. All right. So, you guys keep trying to connect with your retailer. I am going to put gray wax on here. Lots and lots of gray wax. Okay? Can you guys see how much gray wax I'm putting on here? Lots and lots of gray wax. And the reason is because we're going to kind of change this up a little bit. This is, there's no skill to this whatsoever, okay? I told you guys this is back to basics. We are just putting gray wax on here, okay? We got to make sure we get it all the way around. So now can you see the difference in this door and this door? All we've done is we've taken this brush which is by Chalk Mountain. It's fabulous. Um, and we've put this gray wax over here. Now we're going to take our little rag and we're going to wipe it back some, okay? But now I put it on heavy enough because I want this door to have a gray um, feel. No, I did not clear wax. Not for the finish that I'm going for. Typically, I clear coat before I put any wax on, but that's not the goal that I'm going for. I really want a lot of this gray wax to stay in my paint. Okay, I'm telling you, we're going to take a basic, basic skill and we're going to turn it into a finish that is to die for. Because I think a lot of you guys are afraid of the paint and there's no reason to be afraid of the paint. Um, typically, I only use wax for accenting and that's what I'm going to do with this. I know it seems like I'm waxing the piece, but I really just want it to, to dirty up my paint. That's the best way to put it. I just want dirty paint. Because I love what this grunge gray does to all of these colors of paint. Because remember, we already have five colors of paint on here. We started with drop cloth and sandbar as our base coat. And then we went to farmhouse green. We did half Savannah Mist and half Vintage Duck Egg for a custom mix of paint. And besides that, we did what color? Driftwood. All right. So... Now we're wiping this back, and I'm wiping fairly vigorously because I want it, I want there to be some of the gray wax left, but I don't want it all over everything, okay? And you're gonna see what I'm gonna do in just a minute. All right. Let me tell you guys, while I'm doing this, the sweetest thing happened today. One of my customers came in and hugged my neck today. Um, because she has enjoyed the live so much and she and her daughter bought some paint and they showed me their projects they're working on and I can't wait for them to get finished so I can share the pictures with you guys. They've got some great projects to work on. All right, so now can you see how much lighter this door is? But I left the wax in these little crevices around here, okay? Hey, Destry! You didn't miss anything. We just put grunge gray wax on here to dirty my paint up. Now that I've dirtied the paint up, <laughs> we are going to add white wax because white wax over this gray wax gives me a little bit of a marbleized effect. Again, this is just a basic skill. All you're doing is putting a little bit of wax over what you've already put on here. Now remember, this is our door that we've got our five colors on. We're not going to do this door because I want you to see the difference, okay? 
Now you guys keep an eye out. We've got a lot of local retailers on here tonight and they're wanting to connect with you guys. And don't forget, you can shop with me. All you gotta do is click the shop now button or go to 44marketplace.com and I've got everything on there. And I even offer free shipping if you spend $50 or more. So, all right. So now we put our grunge gray on there. And do you see what I'm doing? I'm smearing white all over it. It is amazeballs. You'll see what I'm talking about. This is just a basic skill, okay? Super basic. Taking a brush and wiping wax on a door. I mean, anybody can do that. And you see, I'm not doing it any certain way. It's just kind of a willy-nilly. Somebody said they like that word. I love to use that word. My grandmother used it a lot. And there's lots of things you miss when they're not there anymore. My grandmother is one of those things. All right, now can you guys see what I've done to this door? I have put the grunge gray wax on there and now I've put the white wax over it. But you haven't seen the best part yet, just wait. I'm gonna pull you a little closer. I'm gonna tell it to tune in on this door. So now we've got this door has been dirtied up with our grunge gray wax. Like I told you, we're gonna, we're just doing basic skills. You could have taken a rag. You could have taken anything, uh, a sponge. You could take the back of this sponge and put your wax on there with. That's all you gotta do is just put your wax on there, okay? And wipe it back. Don't let it sit on there too long. You just want it to dirty that paint up a little bit, okay? All right, now we have put grunge gray wax over our five colors of paint. We have put the white wax over it, which gives us a little bit of a marbleized effect. You can see the gray and the white. Yeah, amazeballs is another word that I say a lot. My grandmother didn't say that though. Okay, so now we have done this. And like I said, there's nothing to be afraid of. This is just fun, this is relaxing. Okay, so now you know what we're gonna do? We're playing with gilding wax. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, I don't know if you've gotten any of the Dixie Belle gilding wax, but I am flipping addicted to it, okay? I love me some gilding wax. And I am one of those that puts a lot of it on, okay? I love this stuff. It, it gives a great touch of drama, glamour, whatever you wanna do, okay? Yeah, exactly like Ellen just said, it's just paint. You're not making a lifetime commitment and premier retailers carry it all. Okay, so you know that we've got this kind of a little bit of a blue on here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little chip brush and it has a little bit of paint in it already. I'm just gonna go, I mean, a little bit of gilding wax in it already because I've already been playing while I was waiting for this. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of drama to this piece because it really doesn't have enough definition for me, okay? Chip brush, a messy chip brush at that, okay? This is my black gilding wax. It's fabulous, just so you know. And I just kind of wallow it around in there and I get a little bit of it on there. Now, it's kind of like dry brushing with your gilding wax, okay? I want you to be able to see the door good and so you can see the difference. We're just gonna go up and down, up and down, up and down. Just so that the tips of your brush touch that raised panel. Do you see the definition that that brings out? Just a little bit of definition. If you don't get enough definition, wallow it around just a little bit more and back over it, okay? Super easy. Now, once you've done that, you can take your same chip brush, or if you're a little bit more worried about getting too much on there, take one of these brushes. It's an artist brush. See how it's shaped? Take one of those and kind of drag it in that little crevice right around there that outlines it, okay? 
Super easy. Again, all basics. You're going to end up with a very beautiful finish, but you're doing all basic skills. There's no artistic effort required whatsoever. If there was, I couldn't do it. And I'd like to do it around the second level of the raised panel as well, okay? Because I want there to be a shadow there. When you look at it, I want there to be a shadow there. That's all I'm doing is dragging it so that there's a little bit of a shadow in that crevice, okay? Again, basic skill. Taking a little chip, taking a little artist brush with a rounded tip. I don't know if you guys can see that. And that's it. We're just creating a little shadow around there. All right. So now we've created a shadow. And if you want to put a little bit of the, the, um, the black around here, you can. It's totally up to you. I love a little bit of drama in my piece. So I like to put a little bit, but that's not the best part. We're going to, I wanna rub this in, okay. All right, if you notice you got a little heavy in spots, because I really do, <laughs> I know, I, I am country, as country as can be, and wallow around is one of those words, you know? Okay, so now, can you see what a difference we've already made in this door? Well, that was only black gilding wax. Now we're going to go with the fun gilding wax. This is our new turquoise. I don't even remember. Turquoise teal. Sorry. Didn't remember what it was called. Okay, so now we're going to take this same brush that we put the black on with. You may, if you're nervous about it, dust it off on a paper towel or something. But really, if you just put a little bit in at a time, you're not going to get enough on there. We want some blue shiny stuff on this thing because it makes it gorgeous. So we're adding some blue shiny on here because we want this to have a little bit of a shimmer and a shine and we want it to make people smile. And now I want the blue specifically on this edge. I wiped the uh, other wax back right there even more because I want this edge that's raised. We've got the shadows with the black gilding wax, but we want the outset with the blue and if you like i say if you want a little bit wipe it all around the more the merrier i'm just saying you know it makes it cooler and if you don't like it when you're finished paint over it no harm no foul now you know what's next we've got to have hammered copper because we're going to make it have a little bit of a shine <laughs> Okay, so you can see we've got nice depth. We've got our outset with our blue. And now we're going to go back over it with a little kiss of a shine. Again, you're just getting a little bit on your brush. And you're dragging it up and down. It's just enough that if you see it at certain angles. And I will tell you, I do like to put my brush perpendicular to these sharp edges so that they'll have a little bit of a uh, hammered copper effect. And I'm doing it on the sharp edges in both the first level and the second level. Because, you know, like you said, a little shimmer is always cool. I mean, you know, it's like, why not? It's sun-kissed. But it's just enough. And while we're doing it, let's just go around the door too. I mean, the door needs a little kiss of sunshine, too. There we go. Okay. We're going to get some on the hinges. I mean, if we're just doing it, we're just going to get it all over the place, okay? Might as well. Okay. All right. So now we have taken a door that was looks like a hot mess, if you look at it. It's got a lot of green and a lot of everything, and we have turned it into something that would make you smile every time you looked at it. If it was in your powder room or your foyer, it would be beautiful put, to put towels on in your powder room. Um, it would be gorgeous to have in your front hall or whatever. It just has a lot of depth. These fluorescent lights do not do it justice. And to think it was just an old piece of something that somebody was getting rid of that 
I just thought it was too pretty to get rid of. So, if you have questions, we're going to go back over right quick what we did tonight. Tonight, what we did was we started with grunge gray wax, and we put it all over the entire piece. No method to it whatsoever. Just a whole bunch of grunge gray wax. Smeared it all over it. Then we wiped it back. And we put our white wax over that to give it a marbleized effect. So then we wiped that back. After that, we used a little tiny bit of the black gilding wax to give it some depth and drama. Then we went with our turquoise teal to add a little bit of a blue smoosh to it. And then we added our hammered copper to give it a little bit of glitz and glamour. And like I say, if you'll just get a little bit on these ends, can you see, and drag it perpendicular to these sharp edges, then all of a sudden it gives it just a little, um, it gives it just a little gild right there on those edges. And it looks like maybe at one time it was even, I don't know, maybe it was even hammered copper underneath all the paint. So, if you guys have questions, I sell all of these products on my Facebook page and on my website at 44marketplace.com. I do offer free shipping. You guys can look this up on YouTube. I'll download it to YouTube tonight or tomorrow. And I will also leave this up on my Facebook page. If you guys would share it, that would be great. I'm only about 20 likes from 7,000 likes, and I would love it if I could hit that number. So if you guys could share it and ask your friends, that would be great. And if you guys have questions, please let me know because um, look me up on YouTube as I'm Pam Haskins. I'm, I'm pretty easy to find, and most of my videos are either about dogs <laughs> or painting. That's what I live for. Um, we are going to do some more work on it tomorrow night because I'm still not positive what I'm going to do about the hardware, but we're going to talk about top coats and do you want a clear wax? Do you want a water repellent top coat? We're going to go through all of that tomorrow night. And, um, again, if you don't have a local retailer and you guys need one of these, private message me your address and I will get it out in the mail. Um, I sent out, I don't know, 50 or so in the last couple of days. So if you guys need one, if you've ordered from me, it will be included with your order. And we're going to talk about top coats with no brush strokes tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow at 9 o'clock. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. It means so much to a small business like me. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great night. Thanks, y'all.